everyone, and welcome to this Active HDL tutorial. My name is Chantel, and for this video, I'm going to be going over compiling Vivado simulation libraries. Now, when it comes to simulation, if you were to instantiate your design, the simulator needs to reference a library that describes the functionality of the component to ensure proper simulation. So, if you were to simulate a design with Xilinx components inside of Active HDL, you're going to need to attach the appropriate simulation libraries. So in order to compile the Vivado simulation libraries, you'll need to open up Vivado. For this video, I currently have Vivado 2022.1 and ActiveHDL 13.1. For compiling these libraries, there are two ways you can go about this. One way is through the compile simlib command, and the other way is to use the Compile Simulation Libraries wizard, which helps simplify compiling simulation libraries. I'm going to be going over the wizard method first. So to do this in Vivado, head over to Tools and click on Compile Simulation Libraries. From there, a new window should appear. Here you can specify the options for compiling these libraries. In Simulator, Make sure Active HDL's simulator is selected. And you can specify what languages, libraries, and families you want. But for this video, I'm just going to leave them at all. For the compiled library location, you want to select the directory where you want the compiled libraries to be saved. For simulator executable path, you'll want to provide the path to the directory containing the avhdl.exe file in the Active HDL installation directory. If you want to include all of the IP modules available in the Vivado IP catalog, leave this option checked. Otherwise, if you uncheck it, you'll only compile the basic simulation libraries. If there are libraries already present in the output directory, you'll want to check this box. And once you're done with all your settings, click on Compile. And from here, the library should begin to compile. After some time when the compilation is finished, you should see the compilation summary in the Tickle console. And now for the command method in the Vivado Tickle console, just use the compile simlib command. And the full command line used to compile Vivado libraries into Active HDL is this command line here, where you specify the path to the bin folder inside ActiveHDL's installation folder here. And you specify the path to the directory where you want compiled libraries to be saved here. You can also add more arguments, such as force, to prevent the recompilation of already existing libraries. And for a complete list of arguments, just type dash help after the compile simlib command. And just like the first method, you'll see a compilation summary after compilation finishes. Now that we have our libraries compiled, we'll now need to attach the libraries into Active HDL. Open up Active HDL, and don't worry about opening a workspace or anything. Head over to Library and click on Attach. From there, go to the location of the compiled Xilinx libraries, and then select the .lib file of the selected library. Keep attach as global library checked if you're using Active HDL as the default simulator in Xilinx Vivado. And you'll just want to repeat these steps for every library you would like to attach to Active HDL. You can also attach libraries using the AMAP command. In the Active HDL console window, type AMAP and followed by the logical name of the library and then the full library path containing the .lib extension. And just like the attach option, just repeat this process for all the libraries you want to attach. You'll want to make sure that your libraries are properly attached to Active HDL, and be sure to give the libraries the read only property in order to prevent changes to those libraries. Once all of that is done, you're now ready to simulate Xilinx designs inside of Active HDL. Thank you guys for watching.